Good afternoon. Um, I will be uh, presenting along with uh, Dr. Uh, Park here. Our topic is groundwork for conceptualizing authentic pathways to global sustainable development towards a heal being culture and healing technology. Um, now this is uh, this is based on a paper. Actually, it's already been written, and uh, uh, obviously, I won't be able to go over every part of the paper. I'm just kind of given an outline of it, and uh, if you want to, uh, that way, if you want, you can read it. Uh, I think it's been forwarded to the Journal of Future Studies, and uh, probably it will be published. So, uh, so first, we'll start. I'll start off with an introduction, just a sort of preliminary inquiry for treatment of global sustainable development. Uh, and talk about evolving essential relations or interactive relations, uh, individual relations, societal relations. I'm not sure I have time to get the planetary relations. I was supposed to do that with uh, Dr. Han, but he couldn't be here today, and I wasn't able to arrange with him to perhaps do something by Skype. So I think we'll just have to skip that section, and then I'll let uh, Professor Park continue uh, with the other uh, final sections there of. Uh, peaceful coexistence and uh, sustainable development to healing effect and the conclusion, heal being culture and healing technologies. So, in the introduction, the first thing is that when, when people talk about uh, global sustainable development, uh, almost everyone agrees that yes, this is a great thing that we should, we, we need to uh, realize global sustainable development. And yet when you get down to the real particulars, we find that there suddenly uh, there, there become conflicts. You know, we talk talking about that versus economic growth, for example. You find that people have some conflicting uh, opinions about that, or or what's the preferable developmental model to follow? You know, and then you get into ideology, and you have you know like people who are more pro-capitalist and people who are socialists, or you have people that are uh, you know pro-business and uh, people who are more uh, maybe or, you know neoliberalism neo versus anti-alter globalism, pro-business versus environmentalism, and so on. And you get into the ideological aspects, and that's where a lot of the, the fracturing goes on. You know? uh, and I think part of the problem is that even below the ideology, though, there are interests. You have to realize that there are interests and values, and these are the two main things. If you don't understand the interest and the values that are, that, are, that are in conflict, then you won't be able to understand how you can move this dialogue and log along. Uh, and sometimes, you know, these interests and values sometimes can also, there are, there are those who, who really don't care about the long-term interest, they're thinking more short-term. And uh, so uh, the ideology is used basically to uh, support their short-term interests. Uh, so, <clears throat> also, um, one other thing to, to consider is that uh, the singular and plural conceptions, we talk about the future, what do we mean? Well, do we say the future, or like a sustainable future, or do we say sustainable futures? Now, I know these days <clears throat> the plural is, most people now accept the plural, and, and, and to some degree I think it completely casts away the whole idea of a one future. And I think uh, that, um, and of course, part of this is, I think, a reflection of our time, the time that we live in. Uh, as Karl Mannheim uh, pointed out, in the sociology of knowledge, that most ideas that appear, they appear at a certain time because they are a reflection of the time. They're a reflection of the consciousness of that time. So we.